Check, check, check. Yeah, yeah. Checking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, checking. Yeah. Check. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> People are at work. That's someone's true. headphones just popped out by accident, and someone got all that just now. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're a maniac. Anyway, Danny, how you going? How you, how you going, how guys? How you going, guys? How you going, guys? Welcome back to the basement yard. It's Joe and Dan just doing the thing. Hmm. What rhymes hmm. with Joe and Dan? Hmm. That could be Joe like a slogan. And Dan. It's Joe and Dan. And we're back. And man. we're back, man. I don't know. Fuck That's it, not great. That's terrible. Probably should have came up with that. Probably should have came up with some other stuff too before we hit the record button. Yeah, we had an idea. We're like, all right, yeah, that's the idea, and then we just <laughs> forgot it. We just we so, really need to start writing things down. Yeah, we should probably think about this a little bit. Every once in a while, every yeah. once in a while, you yeah. don't want to know something. I haven't really recovered from the Hamptons, to be honest. What? Yo, you got a sweet little tan too. Yeah, I'm bronze. Yeah, you're a bronze goddess right now. What is that? What do you mean? This? Yeah, it's a Fitbit. It's a Fitbit. You're counting steps now. Count, no, I'm counting calories and. What you I sent you my my food that I ate yesterday. Got to got to start dialing it back. You start dialing it back, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you got a whole lot going on. I now. got the gold out today. I feel like when you go gold thing gold, it kind of looks like a it looks like a rocker band or something. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, like that. Yeah. Like you skateboard or something. Yeah, I wish those guys make bank. Skateboarders, yeah, like pro skateboarders, they fucking make bank, dude. Yeah, if you're like super up there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not all. Of them. I mean, I don't think I'll be skating any, any, oh, I don't sh- think you'll be, shine tune. I don't think <laughs> any shine tune, <laughs> yeah, That's I don't what think I was so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're all bronzed up, yeah. Hamptons was nice, Hamptons, Hamptons was, was nice. fun. We went to the Hamptons, had a good time, stayed at a nice house, swam in the pool, swam in the infinity pool, that saw was... a bunch of fucking rabbits, a lot of rabbits. We named them Freddy. What was the other one? I don't know. I don't know. Freddie was the one I named, I think. Yeah. And you kept splashing him with water? Yeah, and he was just like, cool. Because yeah. it was hot out. I was like, yo, Freddie's fucking, he's hot. Well, he laid down. I've never seen a rabbit lay down Yeah, this, like that. this rabbit was laying down like Rose Dawson getting, like, drawn, you yeah, know, was, when she, very, like, lays on that couch. It was kind of sexual from the rabbit. It was. It was, it was super sexual, and he didn't yeah. blink. He just stared at me, and I was like, dude, yeah. this fucking rabbit better move. Ate a lot of good food. Yeah. Ate a little bit too much food. Ate a ton of food. Well, you also ate a. <laughs> Someone offered Danny a thousand dollars to eat uh, chili powder or whatever. Uh, is Calabrian chili like dip or diced whatever. up and like really hot shit. It's really hot. Whatever it is, it's a spicy like concoction that you put in like sauces or like whatever yeah. on on stuff. And this kid got a big spoon and was like, "Yo, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you eat this whole thing." And let me tell you right now. The jar wasn't that big. It must have been a third of the jar. More than that, probably. It was huge. Yeah. And Danny ate the whole thing, and now he's paying for it. Yeah. He got paid, but now he's paying for it physically. Yes. I have gastritis. Um, <laughs> I went to the doctor yesterday and showed him the video. We, it, we have it on video, but uh, I have it. You showed your doctor the video? Yeah. I said, this is what happened. And he was like, um, you could have an ulcer. Fire. Not really. It's terrible. Yeah, you got an but, ulcer? No, no, I don't know. But the last three days, I've, what is an ulcer? I don't even. It's like a. It's, it's like, like a, a burn. Yeah, it's like a hole in your intestinal tract. Oh, sick. Yeah, it's fantastic. But um, I've been chugging this uh, Melanta stuff mm-hmm. to like coat my stomach. Yeah, it looks like fabric softener. Yeah, so like every day I've woken up, I've been in pretty much a lot of pain. But uh, if the pain keeps going up until Saturday, they're gonna have to stick a camera down my throat. Might have to miss an episode. That's no. fire. That's dope. No, it's not. No, because it's not. We were, it's not. If we were talking about being afraid of fucking going under, I would have to go under. Yeah. Are you afraid of that? Yes. I don't deathly. Know. Really? Deathly. Why? Because dude, I'm not I'm deathly gonna be, afraid. I'm going to be really that have... one guy that doesn't get up. No. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with us? I don't know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That guy was an idiot. I would have did a lot more for a thousand bucks for that fucking pepper. I would have shoved that shit on my ass. That's what Danny said. He had the spoon in his hand. He goes, I'm going to eat this and I'm waiting for you to pay me, but then I got to tell you something. So he eats it and he gets paid and he goes, I would have shoved this in my ass for a thousand dollars. I ate it without hesitation. Yeah, that was kind of it was kind of wild. And, and with relatively no problem either. no it was good it was the day later the that my problem. stomach was on fire yeah, the problem man. occurred at 7 a.m i also haven't had solid doo-doo poo-poo since 
Sunday. You haven't had any sort of like, you know, muddy mixture. I mean, it's it's been some. It's it's more like Jurassic Park mud. Yeah, yeah. It's more muddy now than it was before. It was just straight aguacito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like you know, in Jurassic Park, when the dinosaur steps in like the mud. Yeah. It's like mostly water, but there's yeah, some there's, there's some, some s- yeah stuff in there. Also, we ate corn, and I was shitting corn for days. Yeah, I didn't have that much corn, so I don't know if my body like cloned whatever I ate because there was a lot more in my poop. There was tons of old corn. I felt like a rabbit after it, all that corn came out. It, I said for three days, I said I ate one fucking thing of corn. I've been shitting it out for three days. That's what I'm saying. I'm really not trying to be disgusting. But I when, am. When I took a shit, it literally just looked like a dirty like corn on the cob. <laughs> there was a ton of corn. Just yeah. passes through your body. Yeah. Not really good for you. You guys shouldn't eat corn. No, I think you probably shouldn't. Can't even break it down. At all. At all is not is food not being broke down bad for you, or is it like one, healthy for you? It's not good. Corn's not good. Corn's not good. There's no nutritional value. Yeah, it's just like sugar, right? No, I don't know what. I it don't is. know what it is, it's, dude. All I know is corn with some butter on it, though. Is good. It's tasty, but I'll tell you what, it feels weird coming out of you. Did you feel sick at all, even that place? Oh, at four a.m., I, I was rumbling that last day. Yeah, I was yeah. like. Okay. We okay. ate. Let's rattle off what we ate. Two porterhouse steaks. Two porterhouse steaks. Ribs. ribs. Corn. It's New York skirt steaks. New York skirt steaks. Did we no, say wait, that? No. Skirt skate. I don't know. We're skating. Skirt steak. We're skating. Skating. Uh, lobster tails. Strips. New York strips, not New York skirt strips. steaks. Strip steak. Uh, lobster tails. Then we had shrimp and pasta. pasta. And then we had spicy rigatoni. Yeah. This is in two days. This is in two days. We're disgusting yeah. freaks. And everything also, was covered in sea salt. Yeah. A lot of salt. A little bit too much salt. Yeah. We went to the farmer's market to get a bunch of like fresh stuff and also a lot of bread, by the way. But the bread was... Hooey. Yeah. The guy at the farmer's market was awesome. He was wearing a shirt that said Harry's Holla. And it had a picture of like Holla bread on it. Yeah, I wanted it. It was so dope. <clears throat> it was fucking dope. The only cooler shirt he could have if it was a cartoon picture of his face and it said Holla back girl. Yeah. It spelled like... You know what I'm saying? But the one thing I noticed, being out in the Hamptons is when, uh, like, is, there's a bunch of rich white people that when you walk by their house, you're like, okay, there's some human sacrifices going on in here. Like, yeah. it's their houses are so big that you think that they hunt poor people for sport in, yeah. in the hallway. Well, no doubt about it. You know? So I'm, like, alert, you know, because I want to know what's going on, who's got what kind of money out here. Yeah. And when we were at the farmer's market, which is just a shack with, like, a tarp roof, yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, and there's, like, flies everywhere. Yeah, and, and there's, there's just, like, like, fresh shit, yeah. right? So it's really nice. It's, like, nice food. Uh, the guy bought, like, four peaches and paid with a black card. And the only reason why I knew it was a legit black card is because in size 72 font across the front of it, it said black card. <laughs> yeah, and it looked heavy as shit. Like, if you yeah. threw it on the floor, the whole shack would have fell down. That's, yeah. how, like, how big it was. We would have imploded. Yeah. All of the poor people, but he would have been all right. Yeah. Probably so, had a secret jetpack on that, him. That's the thing that sucks about the Hamptons. It's like you can't really floss. There's no you're such super thing. Super rich. Yeah. You know? Like opening conversation lines here, it's like, hey, what do you do? Yeah. And I'm like, dude, re- listen, I'm not like working for Goldman Sachs. Right. But here, though, you could get away with it a little bit. You'd be like, yeah, I'm kind of a big cheese. But out there, it's like, their opening line is like, who is your dad? Or, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. What does your dad do? Right. Like, what kind of equity do you own? How many how many houses do you have? Right. When people start telling you stuff like, oh, yeah, I'd like to keep a home in Denver. You're like, dude, what? Yeah, like, You'd like to keep a home? I'd like to keep one fucking apartment. Yeah. Like, <laughs> keep a house like a cat? Yeah, I'd like to keep one there. Really? Because we'd all like to keep one. You know what was kind of cool is we made a mess. We didn't make a mess, but we like we we had a lot of garbage. And the guys whose house it was, he goes, "Don't worry about it. Somebody will come and get it." Yeah, I was like, "That's baller." It's like, whoa, like <laughs> John Wick. He calls those guys that cleans up all the dead bodies. Yes. And then we were staying next to a house that was fully made of glass. Oh my god, that was an estate. Yeah, it's an insane house. This place was. I'm not kidding. Bigger than most schools. It was the biggest place i've ever seen and it was all made of glass and it was all open there was not one shade 
No. Everything was, if anyone was sleeping, fucking shitting, we saw everything. And the thing that sucks is that when we lost power, they didn't. Right. We lost power in the Hamptons. Yeah. Nope. Power in the Hamptons. Hamptons. <laughs> yeah. We had uh, no power in the Hamptons. Yeah, we lost power for a little bit, so we were like, you know, we, we had candles and shit, and these people across the way are using thousands of wattage. Yeah. An abundance of voltage. And then there was like 50 people just on the, f- like the top floor. Yeah. Dude, yeah. it was insane how big that house was. We thought it was an open house. Apparently, they have parties like that every week. Yeah. Like the guy that owned the house that we were staying in. Right, exactly. Yeah. But And his house was nice. Yeah. And that's house. like their secondary house. Second, I feel like it's like their fifth house. Yeah, they were just like, yeah. The kid who owned the house that we stayed at is... Yeah. Has a ton of machacha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and like this house, you can tell it's like, yeah, I haven't been here in years. But it's like super nice. Like yeah. me and Danny stayed in a pool house. It had two rooms. Yeah. Like two bedrooms. And like amazing air conditioning. And big ass bathrooms. Big ass owns. We all had our own bathroom. Which yeah. was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was an extra one. <laughs> and then there was an extra one. <laughs> yeah. The kid probably hasn't been in that house in so long that when he came there, he was like, hey, can I use your? Yeah. And I was like, you haven't been here in a long time. Yeah. He's like, you mind if I, I was like, everything is yours here. Yeah, I don't know like, why you're he's saying. like, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> But that just goes to show, because we were in a nice house, that just goes to show how big that fucking house was across the way. Oh, yeah. It was insane. We got a little reckless with the jewels. Uh, Yeah, and the claws. Yeah. Well, you did the claws. I was Ju- I was a Julio Iglesias all yeah, day. Yeah, you were fucking Julio. <laughs> Julio Jones. I don't know why it is, but Ju- I, I understand the craze behind the jewel. I it's, do. It's an oral fixation. It's an oral fixation, yeah. but it also has something in there that could get you addicted. But they call it nicotine. But yeah. for some reason, I couldn't put it down. It's the nicotine. It's the nicotine. I think, or it's or it's the oral fixation. I feel like everyone just enjoys being like, yeah. <gasps> I smoked like three cigars when I was out there. I didn't have any cigars. You should have up. Why? I, I, I was on you though. I was in the pool though. No, but I'm you, not gonna smoke a cigar with soaking wet hands. No, like pruny fingies. You had a couple days where you were like, no, nah, I'm alright. Because your belly didn't feel great. Oh, well, I had just eaten 10 pounds of meat, so that's I wasn't you're like, supposed oh, I'm going to suck what you're a supposed cigar to smoke down. Cigar. Yeah, I know, but I thought these are going to come up if I do this right uh. now. What was that? I'm not 100%. It doesn't look like it. I'm not, I'm not 100%, but would you say, with my haircut now mm-hmm. and this tan, yeah. that I'm hot? Yeah. Thanks, dude. You're hot. You're not an eight. No, no, no. I know no. you. I know you. You said you were gonna be an eight one day. I'm like chill. I'm like a seven point four. A seven four. Seven two. Seven two. I'm very musically inclined. It's true. That's true. But we we can't do stuff like that. All right, we're going straight off looks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So if I lost like thirty five pounds, you can't give me hypothetical. No, no, this no, is, no. This is what we got. No, but would you take me up to an eight? Would I take you up to an eight? I don't yeah. know what you look like. You could look weird. Maybe I don't like skinny Dan. I like powerful Dan. Yeah, that's true. You know, you could be skinny Dan. You lose some points. Like, look at you. Yeah. Look like an asshole. Now. If I just got like some abs and got rid of like. If you were a twink, some, some I wouldn't even hands. hang out with you, dude. That's true. That's true. I need a big bear around. I hear you. To counteract I what I got going on over here. I understand. I understand. Look good by comparison. I get it. No, I'm talking that's about. That's what he meant. You can't have two twinks running around looking like the number 11. Can't be both Twinkies. Can we talk about how you wear size small pants? I don't wear size small pants. You wear size small pants. If you go to my Instagram, add any little priority on Instagram. Oh, God. Uh, I put on a pair of Joe's. They were uh, swim trunks. Swim trunks. Right. And I thought they were mine because we both had flamingo swim, swim trunks mm-hmm. this, this weekend. And I said, there's no way. How much do you weigh? I weigh 180 pounds. There's no way that a 180 pound man, which I, I doubt you're 180. What but do you think I am? I think you might be a little more. But uh, what? Yeah. I am not over one eighty. Uh, I think uh, over. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know what it's like. You know what I mean. I've been two hundred five for like fifteen years. Don't worry about it, dude. I'm one eight. You want to go step on the scale? Go step on the sta- scale right now. Step on the scale. Step on the scale. Let's go. You so, first of all, you saw me fit into those fucking swim trunks. No, I'm not saying you didn't fit. That's my thing, though. Is should a man? Should a man? Wear a size small. Wear a size small. If it you fits. You could easily it was a big a medium, small. Though. It was a big small. But that's the thing. So here's the real story behind this. Is I had to call 
fucking uh, j- jaws of life to get those things off my dick. I'll tell you that. Those things are stuck on there. Well, yeah, we have different body types. There. I would say I'm a little more of an endomorph. <laughs> a little more of an endomorph. Uh, <laughs> that was really funny. But how could you be a grown man? How I'll can you call you yourself a grown man and wear size small pants? I'll tell you this, okay? You Not gotta, saying they didn't look good. You got to stop shaming because there's small men out there who wear small pants and they can't help it. And I'll That's tell true. you what, they That's got true. they got some loose smalls on those men. Yeah. And those are the dudes with the dicks. Too. No, 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 you're I've right. I've seen some pornos. You're right. You're it's, not, it's not right. It's fucked up. No, but I get what you're saying. First of all, I was joking. Stop apologizing. No, nah, but you know, I, I hear you. There are some small guys out there. Yeah, some tiny men. Yeah. Uh, beat my ass, too. Here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. I went to my... <laughs> Not a fucking shot. Not a chance. <laughs> you Nancy. Uh, I went to Marshall's mm-hmm. before I went to uh, Florida. Before we went to Miami for the bachelor party this, this year. And what were you weighing then? I'm th- I've been the same weight for like two years. I don't believe you. Okay. Uh, me and Ralph, because Ralph was gonna was gonna go, so he's like, I'm going to Marshall's. Like, all right, I'll come with he's you. He's a small. He's a, yeah, he's a small. He's a small man. So we went. And I got like three bathing suits because they were like ten bucks. Yeah. Marshall's steel, by the way. Yeah, Marshall's is. And I don't care how rich I ever get, I'm just pulling up in Marshall's. I liked the print. Yeah. On on it, so I was like, oh, I was like, maybe these are gonna be snug, but I'm buying these. Yeah. So I bought them, and the rest of them that I, I bought that day were were mediums. But that one they didn't have in a medium. I was like, I really like these flamingos. I hear you. I go through the same thing with like two X and X. Yeah. Like if I really like something, I'll shove it into an X. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> stuff that into an X. I'll stuff it into an X. Yeah. But I think you're over 180. Why? I would say you're like 183. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not. I I might be 183. Oh, the plot thickens. 185. I highly doubt I'm 185. Honestly. Go get on there. <laughs> Go get on there. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You want me? To, you honestly want me to go step on the yeah, stairs? Yeah, I, I trust you. You want me to come with you? You want me to? Keep, yeah, come on. Let's get, go. No, we not can't leave the two cameras. All right, here. go, go. All right, fine. Take, I'm not gonna lie. Take a picture. I'm not gonna take a picture of a lie. You're gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. All right, everybody, take a guess at home. Take a guess at home. Take a guess at home. I'm gonna say one eighty four point three. You were very close. Fall. <laughs> you were very close. What were you? Here we go. Everyone, take your guess. Take your guess now. It's coming. 184.6. Wow. <laughs> Told you 185, baby. Hey, man. Boy, eight, though. Yeah, you got clothes on, too. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, my phone's in my pocket. That, too. That, too. That, too. And wearing a hat. <laughs> I was 256. It's so funny when dudes step on a scale and they're like, wait, I got all this shit on. I was 256 this morning. 256? Yeah. I'm shocked. Damn, I remember when you were like 220. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's well when you're depressed and not eating. Yeah. I also was not eating food. Right. Yeah. You were eating grass. Yeah. I was afraid of wind. Like there was a lot. <laughs> there was a lot going on I was there. Afraid of wind. But I did ask in my. I did post a picture with your with your shorts on. Mm-hmm. Got twenty five thousand likes. Thank you. Nice. Um, for me that's great. Yeah. Um. And a professional athlete mm-hmm. plays tight end for the New York Giants. Okay. Scott Simonson, shout out Scott, good buddy of mine. Um, I asked him, I said, yo, I'm 5'9", 250. Can I punch it in from the one? <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you say? And I'll tell you his response right now. I just had it up. I'll give you my response after you give his. Okay. He's a professional athlete. Right, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm going with him. And let's see. Where is he? All right, I found it. I found it. I wrote to him. I said, Scott. I'm 5'9", 250 plus. Can I punch it in from the one? I was recruited to play D3. He says, my guy, you've got that natural leverage. Low man always wins, and I bet you can get low as fuck. I could punch it in from the one. No. Yes. Unless a hole opens up where it's like, oh, everyone's on the ground. Just got to stick it over. If we go fullback, fullback, fake halfback toss, I can punch it. Definitely not a toss you're not getting Not in. a toss. A fullback oh, handle, you're, oh, fake toss. Oh, oh, you're the fullback. I'm the fullback. I thought you are tossing. No, like, no, You're no, not no, getting no. a toss. I'm playing fullback. Yeah, you're not getting to that pylon. I'm telling you. 
No, you probably should. It. I could punch it. I think a lot of people could punch it in front of one with a certain. No, but I could take some. I could. I could get hit. See, that's where I think you're wrong. It wouldn't be great. It would not feel good. It would. You, know, you only have one I, shot. I only have one <laughs> shot to punch it. I think I could do it. I'd get severely hurt. Like, carted off the field, probably. Yeah, even if it went well. Yeah, I even like... if I touched no one yeah. and, and walked right into the end zone. You'd be like, I when I stepped, I pulled my hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be honest with me. Do you like my haircut now more than when I have long hair? Uh, It looks the same to me, kind of. How is that possible? Because it's just the same haircut, but it's shorter. I like it. It looks You look cleaner. All but right. you're, like, fresh off a haircut, so that's when you should look like. Right. Know. I think this hair with the mustache is a better look. I like it. I hate that you fucking got rid of yours already. I what, really, my stash? I enjoyed it a lot. You pulled it off. I liked it too. We looked like a really good like uh, infield. Like I was a catcher in in like the eighties. Yeah, yeah. Like I was a good catcher, and you were like a really good like shortstop, second baseman. Right. Yeah. Like, like we would talk to each other like with the gloves, buddy. with mound visits. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. You got hammered the first day. Yeah, I had a whole bunch of claws. Yeah. Can I you- got there and immediately drank three like. Fast. Can you tell me this phenomenon known as the White Claw? The because white claw. I see the White Claw everywhere. Yeah, is the, it a summer thing? I, no, it it's been around. It's been around. If you're if you're an OG White Claw in in the in, then uh, can't you call know. them Indians. I know. <laughs> <laughs> can't call them Indians. Dude, they're not Indians, right? Who? Like Native Americans. There's your answer. No, no, no. But they're like, they go by Native American tribes. Sometimes they say they're Indian tribes. Yeah, well, people who like are idiots say that. The people in India are Indians. What about those people that say they're like 4% Cherokee? Yeah. You're not. Do you think you should be a a certain percentage to say that you're Native American? At least 25. Right? I feel like you should have to be at least 25 or something to say you are it. I hate when I ask people like, yo, what's your ethnicity? And they just start rattling these things off. Well, I'm four percent Portuguese. I'm I'm seven percent Iranian. I'm ten percent Czechoslovakian. I'm like, just give me the big ones. Yeah. What's your last name? Yeah. Just give me one. Uh, Dororentino. You're Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. With your Gerald, you're Irish. I'm ten percent German. This percent, I'm like, ten percent? No. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. How's that? Not gonna do it for me. You are not. No. I'm going to declare that now. Do not give me over three ethnicities when I'm asking you that. Yeah. And my thing is, is like, my dad's full Italian, my mom's full Puerto Rican. I'm sure there's other stuff dabbled in there. Oh yeah. But someone got fucking smushed. Yeah. But I'm half and half. I'm half and half. Me too. You know, so Italian, Irish, bang, there I am. 50 50. Your mom's not Italian at all. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm you not have, anything. I'm you not have anything. Little to no interest in like your family history at all. What am I going to do with that? Like, you, like, do you know how like your great grandparents got here? I don't even know their names. <laughs> I don't know my great grandmother's name. No idea. I don't either. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying, I know like how they got here though. Yeah, a boat. Ellis Island. That's how. You want to know my mom's, my dad's mom's maiden name was? What? Pootsie Fairy. No. Yeah. Pootsie Fairy? Yeah. (laughs) You were going to be Danny Pootsie Fairy? Yeah, I got Danny Pootsie Fairy blood in me. Dude, you're a Pootsie Fairy. Yeah, I got LaRusso and Pootsie Fairy blood in me. Pootsie Fairy. That's like yeah. a Pokemon. I know. You found a wild Pootsie Fairy. Dude, a Pootsie Fairy. Yeah. How what's, you your, what's your mom's maiden name? Lachlan. Lachlan. God, she's Irish as shit. Yeah, fucking Irish as balls. And then what was her mom's maiden name? Do you know? <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, no, I have no idea. You don't? No. So my mom's... My mom, my grandma's maiden name was LaRusso, but her her mom's last name was Pootsie Fairy. So my <laughs> great grandmother. I can't. I can't with this fucking and shit. Obviously, my grandpa's name was Lil Priori. Honestly, Pootsie Fairy just sounds like yeah. something you name a stuffed animal when you're seven. <laughs> Mr. Pootsie Fairy. I wish I wish none of this was true, but it's true. But my dad, my mom's dad's name is Vasquez. Okay. And my grandmother's maiden name is Cartagena. Damn. It's fire. It's crazy. Don Cartagena. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you got Pootsie Fairy, so I yeah. mean, you're not Yeah, so cool. I am a Vasquez P- 
Pootsie Fairy. Pootsie Fairy, Cartagena, Cartagena Lo Priori, La Russo, whatever. Yeah, I'm a Santa Gato, so. <sighs> like, what was your dad's mom's maiden name? No idea. How do you not know these things? I don't know. You never asked? No, I was too young. Did never... you meet, you met your dad's mom, right? Or or, or what, did she pass? I never met my, my mom's dad. No, he he died before I was born. Your mom's dad died before you were born. Yeah. So you met your mom's mom yes. and both of your dad's parents. Right. Okay, got it. Yeah. And they both passed away? Your mom's? Everybody did. Everybody did. Okay. Yeah, everybody did. I was going to say, you could ask your dad, like, what his mom's maiden name was. Yeah, he'd, he'd know, but I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know nothing. He'd I probably mean, beat the shit out of me for even asking that. No, thing, I don't think so. No, I, I, I feel like a lot I, of kids I think don't you know. don't know him. I think yeah. you don't know the guy. <laughs> Back to the White Claws. <laughs> yeah. But do they get you as drunk as beer does? Yeah, White Claws are, are not. I feel like I'm doing a, a fucking ad read for them, but like. Like last year, I'm not even gonna lie, because I know everyone's gonna see this. Like, Joe, you drank? Did that come with a skirt? Does this white claws come with a dildo, dude? That you can suck on? They don't. Is it that pussy of a drink? Apparently, to but like, here's the thing. Here's I was, I was Bud that. Light, Bud Light's a pussy drink too. That I was that guy, though. You know. So a year ago, I was at a barbecue, right? And I had heard the name before, but like, you know, only girls drink. Was like, oh, I don't want to. I'm watching my. Figure yeah. and I was like, okay, you know. But then this kid that I know, who's like pretty, he's a pretty, he's a pretty boy. Okay, right, hot guy, hot as fuck. Dude. Over seven? Yeah. Pfft, I don't believe it. You gotta see it. He's a hot guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost afraid to say his name because I don't want to like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to keep my diamonds in the rough just for me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to put him out there in the street yet. Yeah, no, yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, but he showed up and he had white claws and I was like, Oh dude, you're drinking this like blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I made a big deal about that, but then I forgot when it changed for me. Uh, and I was just like, yo, these are good. Yeah. And then it was only recently where I, I decided like, yo, I'm just going to drink white claws today and like, see what happens. And things happened. Yo, you were fucked. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't even bad. I went to Josh's like birthday and we all drank like white claws and like play flip cup and shit. Yeah, messy with, with white claw. Yeah, yeah. Which and wow. they're higher in alcohol with, than uh, beers. Were you and like a drunk German shepherd? You kept throwing them in the pool and diving for them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you would do That's like hilarious. some weird dance, throw it, and then just jump in there and go get it. Yeah, you know why I started doing that? Because I was doing that when I was in uh, Pennsylvania too. I was. <laughs> you ever see I Robot at the end of the movie when the robot like throws that thing and then yeah. dives and like it's so fire? So I just keep throwing and diving. I think it was cool. I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool too. I thought it was cool. I was just happy that you came up every once in a while. You were doing some dangerous diving. <laughs> you know, yeah. it wasn't that deep of a pool. A yeah, worried about I'm a you. dangerous diver. I, I'm a mermaid down there. But I did show Joe my floating skills. <sighs> yeah, and your breast stroke. And my breast stroke and my butterfly stroke. Yeah, fuck yeah. I told you I could do it. Yeah, thick boys can move. I can't breaststroke or like any no. type of. I could freestyle stroke. You can't backstroke either. I can't float. You can't float. I can't do shit in the water except free stay afloat, swim, and that's it. And you can't hold your breath either. Oh yeah, I can't hold my breath at all. And you can't tread water. I could tread water. Not for long though. I mean, not forever. You get sleepy, tired. I think everyone does. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not a professional polo player. I could tread my ass off. Honestly, if there was like a lot of pride on the line, I'd die in that pool before I let you beat me at treading water. Well, Holding my breath, I would actually die because I can't hold my breath for more than like 35 seconds. It's pathetic. Yeah. How do you get better at that? You practice it. You just hold your breath? Mm -hmm. I just like, I'm awful. Why do I never hold my breath? Because you don't need to. <laughs> yeah, but you don't need to. No, but I have to. But for me, because I have asthma, I have to do breathing exercises. Oh. So I constantly have to do stuff like that. So that means that people with asthma have better breath. No, it's just that I have to be able to have a higher lung functionality than like normal people because I don't have one. So I have to be able to like hold my breath for a while. What about Julian? This kid was holding his breath for like a fucking minute and a half. I could have beat him. I could have beat him. I mean, I could have beat him too if I like passed yeah. out on the water and got a nosebleed or something. Yeah, 
But he was holding his breath like a fucking bitch. That shit was, he was crazy. He was, he was. I was down there and I'm like, I'm doing a little better than I thought. Like I might have hit 40 seconds and then I came up and I thought I was going to die. Uh, and then you guys just kind of like stayed down there for double the time. Yeah. And I was like, that wasn't great. Well, it's like I was in a pool for a lot, but you weren't really in pools that much as a kid, probably. I mean, I had a pool, but it was like fucking tiny. I That's wasn't over saying. there like swimming laps. Like I wasn't on a team. Do you want to have a pool when you get older? Fuck yeah. I don't understand why people don't have pools if you can have get a pool. Get a pool. You got a yard? Get a pool. It, it bothers me. You see my why mom's backyard? Why do you not have a pool? My mom's backyard is not big at all. And we put a pool in that bitch. Yeah. It, was, it was 10 feet round. Yes. You know how small that is? Yeah. It was I remember, tiny. I remember seeing Keith jump into it. Yeah. Wait, what? Keith jumped into it off the uh, banister. You saw that? You, sh- you showed me a video. Oh. I was like, what are you talking I wasn't there. I was, I was like, that was like 2005. What's up, guys? I was here one day. Now yeah. you showed me a video. Yeah. So it's like, if you have enough space for a back of a pool, get a fucking pool. Yeah. For God's sakes, get a pool. Get I know it's pool, like dangerous for like children and like, if you live in Florida, there's like gators or whatever. Yeah, fuck, but, but get a pool. Get, yeah. get, get, get a couple what? white claws and get in there. So now you don't feel like a pussy drinking that? White claw? Yeah. Oh, I'm past the point of like caring. Puss, pussy drinks, right? Yeah. My oldest brother called me a pussy for it too. Why? Because we were out on Long Island um, and we Damn, went to some. Thomas. Yeah, but he'll drink them. Like he was joking. Yeah. <laughs> but like we, we went out to a, a bar and they had them there and they just sold them in cans. And I was like, dude, I see them off. fucking everywhere. That's well, the reason I brought it up because like they were in Dwayne Reed, like out, like in a, like a display box. The reason why I like them so much is because the next day you don't feel as fucked. Yeah. Because it is seltzer. But what kind of alcohol is in it? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't read the can. I don't know anything about it. It could be Clorox. Yeah, it could I don't be. know. It could be. I All I know is that it tastes good. Yeah. And that it gets you fucked. What would you eat for $1,000? <laughs> That's pretty vague. Like, would you have ate that thing for 1000 bucks? Maybe. I think you would have. Probably. If it was presented to you that evening, I think you would have did it. Yeah. If, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me ask you this. Would you eat one of those ghost peppers for $1,000? No. No? I really don't do well with stuff like that. Like, I can eat hot food and, yeah. like, whatever, but overly hot that, like, for people who enjoy spicy foods that are like, yo, this is crazy, I would probably die. And my ass would be so red. <laughs> like, how would you do on hot ones? I think about that constantly. Like, like, like wow, how good you would do? Like, if I was on... First of all, can you imagine me and you on hot ones? If we went on hot ones... Who's calling me? Okay. Uh, <laughs> if we did hot ones, what a pathetic showing it would be. Yeah. I would. I would try to troop... Oh, I would troop as far as I could yeah. until I started crying. I yeah. was like, can we just skip? Can I we think, edit this? I think I could get margin and marginally. Jesus Christ. Yikes. Margin. Marginally? Thank you. Marginally far. Yeah, I don't know about getting to that last one. I'm just like, no. chill, dude. Let me ask you this. When you eat wings, do you ever pull the meat off the wing or you always put the wing in your mouth? No, nah, you get that wing in the mouth. Sometimes I take the meat off so I can dip it correctly. No, that's just against the rules of wing. Is it really? Yeah. You're not supposed to take the meat off? I don't think so. I think you're supposed to just eat it off the bone. I really want wings now. Yeah, me too. I want to. Uh, yeah, I eat them like a hyena. I love. Yeah, them. I, I feel I, like a lion when I eat them. Yeah, I suck the fucking shit out of those things. Oh my god, dude. Do you ever? <laughs> you like to stick my tongue in between the wing like this part? Like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I fucking go down on those wings hard times. Yeah, man. Hard times? I don't know why. I meant to say hard body, but I said hard times. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're going through some stuff. Yeah, just some hard times, man. Thinking of eating about wings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just doctor well, told me to cut back on meat, so it's some hard times. Yeah, man. I Speaking of hard times, yeah. Um, you showed me something about this feral hog person. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> the feral hogs. Before we get into that, though, we yeah, have to yeah, get to, yeah. we have to get to the sponsors. Ah, uh, cliffhanger. We have a whole bunch of sponsors, but we're gonna get to some feral hogs. And if you don't know what they are, no one does. I don't know. Don't either. feel bad. Do getting sponsors, scrumpity do, ebba do, and we're back. And we're kind of back. Up it up it up, scumpity bop, scumpity bop. Oh my god, fuck my pussy. What? 
What was that? I don't know. Sponsors. Okay. And they're all going to pull after that show. <laughs> um, guys, we have four sponsors for today. By the way, I want to ask. So let me know. Uh, when we have four sponsors on the show, would you guys rather them all come in a bulk in the middle of the show or there be two separate ones where there's two here and two there? Let me know. Yeah. I'm interested. Yeah. Because I don't know how to break it up. Yeah. If you'd like me to break it up, I'd break it up. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I so badly wanted to like seriously like shut the fuck up but I couldn't. All right. All right. So this first sponsor we have is Native. Okay. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. All right. Native. I have their uh, deodorant. Dude. Their deodorant is phenomenal. Okay. A- they got the, the coconut vanilla. That's what I'm wearing right now. Or whatever the hell it is. Um, but at Native, they create safe, simple, effective products that people use in the bathroom every single day. Okay, we're talking about, you know, toothpaste. Talking about <laughs> soaps. Love that. That's another thing. I got the soap. I got the lavender soap, which stinks in a good way. Yeah, lavender. That would you help don't you even, sleep. Huh? That would help you sleep. And lavender helps with anxiety, too. Does it? Yes. Oh, wow. Crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, Native can handle your workout, okay? They can hang with it. All right, busy mom life or 16 hour day, whatever you want, you get it, your sweaty mess, doesn't matter. Bang, native, it stays on. Okay, they have over 8,000 five star reviews. Um, they're, they can check, it, check them out in the Today Show, Women's Health, Good Morning America, you know, stuff like that. Um, and less is more with native. They have fewer, simpler ingredients, so you know everything that's in the deodorant. There's no like, you know, dangerous uh, minerals or anything like that. Uh, but like some of them have like aluminum. Um, in them or whatever, which is linked to some serious health ramifications. And although Native is priced at a slight premium, so it's a little more expensive than your average deodorant, um, they have <clears throat> safe and effective deodorant. So you feel like I'm not hurting my body here with this stuff. All right, and uh, they have in like the like I said, I have the lavender soap and I have the vanilla and coconut uh, deodorant. That is amazing. What is wrong with you? <laughs> You're killing me. No, it's, killing, it's, it's killing me. Um, but right now, you guys can get 20% off your first purchase. You visit nativedeodorant.com and use the promo code BASEMENT. That's 20% off your first purchase. Go to nativedeodorant.com. Use the promo code BASEMENT. Um, but yeah, go check it out because, again, if, you, if you're one of those people, because a lot of people that I know, uh, they buy, sometimes they buy shampoos or they buy you know whatever that they want to be safe. Um, and, and this is one of those companies. So Native, uh, they make great shit. Uh, next we have MVMT, uh, watches, the boys, the boys, MVMT movement watches. Uh, you know, they're all about making great watches that are still stylish and affordable. So they're like, they start at $95. Whereas, you know, in other watch companies, you're looking at $400 for the same quality, uh, from a traditional brand. Um, I have a bunch of native, uh, MVMT watches, um, and they're fucking awesome. I always get compliments on them. My silver one with the blue face, very nice. I don't know the exact name of it, but they're very nice people. Uh, it was started by two college dropouts. That's me. It could have been us. Could have been could us. Could have been us. Damn it. But it's not. We're doing this. Uh, almost 2 million watches sold in over 160 countries, okay? You can get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash basement. That is mvmt.com slash basement basement go check out go check them out guys they sold almost two million watches worldwide okay so this is no mistake here you pouring water over there that's a lot of watches that's a ton of watches buddy two million? Oh, yeah man Whoa. you know how many that is that's like two million exactly um next we have noom and noom is a habit changing solution that helps users learn to develop new relationship with food through personalized courses it's basically an app where it can help you like lose weight but also change your habits so there's not just the physical there's also the mental side dude you're always looking at me during these these i'll, you're ju- I'll do, I'll do it. it i'll you're do it s- i'll sign up for it you're sitting across from me damn it but getting in shape is not just about losing weight it's about learning healthier habits and feeling better about yourself okay all right i will you freak <laughs> that was almost that yeah, uh, no food is good, bad, or off limits. Noom teaches moderation and can be used in conjunction with many pre existing popular diets if you want. Okay, so it's not about just like you can't have this, you can't have that. It's about, okay, let's, how do we figure out how to moderate my 
sugar intake. I like say. that. I like that a lot. Uh, yeah, so it's nice. And it's like a little community. Um, and you don't have to change it all in one day. Small steps uh, make big progress. And you can sign up for your trial today at noom.com slash basement. Noom spelled N-O-O-M dot com slash basement. What do you have to lose? Uh, visit noom.com slash basement to start your trial today. That is noom.com slash basement. All right. And today, our last sponsor of the day is a new sponsor of the show, um, Honey, which this is amazing. This this one's amazing. Um, if you ever buy something online, you, you ever buy something online, you figure out like, okay, had a coupon. Or you go to the store, you buy something like, had a coupon. Happens to me probably 90% of the time. <laughs> I feel like you like paying full price for stuff which yeah. is weird um but you don't have to overspend anymore honey is a free browser uh add-on that uh finds you the best deals online the app magically audio uh, auto applies the best deal to your cart at checkout so, shut the front door that's what i'm saying like if you're on like amazon or something uh what's this called honey it finds discounts and coupons across thirty-seven thousand sites which i didn't even know there were coupon sites so that's fact number one that i didn't know also, 37000 that's a ton. But they find, like Amazon, Sephora, Best Buy, Nordstrom, and more. Uh, with Honey, you don't worry about missing a deal. Okay? They just apply it. Mm. So you just save money, and you don't even realize it's happening. You just add it on to your browser. That's dope. That's fire. I'm doing it. I wish this was my idea. Sometimes I read these, and I'm like, why didn't I do this? Um, but yeah, when I buy stuff from Amazon now, and I got the, you get the Honey uh, add-on, you just save money. You could save 10 to 15 bucks on an order. Yeah, that's you know, you're trying that's, to buy whatever. That's how weird stuff on Amazon. Yeah, like a baby. You can't buy babies. No. Maybe like a plastic baby. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. But you'd save money on that. Yeah. Um, Honey has saved its 10 million members an average of $28.61. Dude, that is not something to sneeze at, as they would say. It's 28. Don't worry about it. Do the math. Um, has over 100,000 five star reviews on Google Chrome Store. That's oh, <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, but yeah, there's no real reason not to use Honey. I mean, it's saving you money, so why not? Uh, it's free to use and it's easy to install on your computer in just two clicks. So shop with confidence. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com/basement. That is joinhoney.com/basement. Honey spelled how you spell Honey, H-O-N-E-Y. Okay, that is joinhoney.com/basement. Guys, save some monies. All right. Anyway. What were we talking about? Uh, feral hogs. Oh my god, the feral hogs. Hold on. You want to know what's funny? Is when I read feral hogs, I thought like they were like, like pregnant. Like fertile hogs? Yeah. That's what I thought feral meant. There's no helping you. Yeah. There's no helping you. You thought feral hogs were... I just... It I, took me a second. If I'm being honest, when I hear feral hogs, I, I don't know... I know ho I know what a hog is. What's a feral cat? I don't know what feral is yet. I just know it's not fertile. N no, it's not fertile. It's not fertile. You thought they were just a bunch of pregnant yeah, pigs? Yeah, I thought this guy had a bunch of pregnant pigs in his house. That sounds like a problem. Yeah. So, with the, like, mass shootings that were happening in the u.s like there was two in a row in two days like last yeah. weekend uh and obviously know, the, our prayers and stuff go out to the victims of those two shootings yeah of course it's, it's fucking terrible uh but obviously the the conversation about gun control comes up online of and course like, there's that yeah. whole thing and someone had tweeted uh if you're on here arguing the definition of assault weapon today you are part of the problem you know an assault weapon is and you know you don't need one and then <laughs> Sorry. Some guy uh tweeted uh replied to that. His name is Willie McNabb, which yeah it is. Yeah. And he goes, legit question for, for rural Americans. Which I, already is hot start, dude. <laughs> legit question for rural Americans. A it's like a, uh, a smart question never comes after you say legit question. Legit question. Because you know it's dumb and people are gonna be like, all right, dude, get the fuck out of here with that question. So yeah. you have to be like, listen, I'm serious. Though. I'm serious though. But then he added for rural Americans. <laughs> it was just now we're playing with fire. Legit question for rural. <laughs> 
This is one of the worst words ever created in the English language. Rural. 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 Rural America. Rural America. I feel like I'm drowning. Look. 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 I just said look. Legit question for rural Americans. <laughs> How do I kill the 30 to 50 feral hogs that run into my yard within three to five minutes while my small kids play? Now, if you don't understand what I just read, a man who is who wants to keep his guns, uh, wants to keep them because he's apparently <laughs> fighting off 30 to 50 feral fucking hogs, whatever those are, because they're running into his yard within three to five minutes where his small kids play. Goddamn hogs is back again. That is that is his like he replied to a tweet, which obviously the, the it's it's about kids essentially. Yeah. Kid safety. And and no, but but it's about you know, the gun control thing was because was, these are fucking kids who are carrying out these mass murders. Right. And it's like, how do we get these guns off the street to save lives? And he's like, What about the hawks? <laughs> I think I figured out Farrell. They live outside. You looked it up? No, I didn't. I bet you did. No, I did not. Farrell. Why did you think it means that? Because Farrell cat. Because I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to bring a cat inside, and my dad said it was a feral cat. But I thought it was a type of cat, like a Burmese cat or a Siamese cat. Yeah. Or a... We don't need other cats. Yeah. Yeah, it's in a wild state, especially yeah. after uh, escape from captivity. So, so is this guy saying that he's going to open fire on the hogs while his children are also out there? His concern is that when when 30 to 50 feral hogs storm the gates of his yard where his children play, yeah. he's going to need to open fire on the 30 to 50 <laughs> Feral hogs. I got. Get, I got to get rid of these hogs. I just want to go on record. Also, if this guy had any gun, mm-hmm. you can't shoot fifty hogs. One of your kids is getting stepped on. Yeah, it's a lot of hogs. Hogs are big. Also, how are you going to be able to tell between your kids and the hogs? I think they look different. No way. If there's fifty running by, they're dashing like, bah, bah, and they're going fast, and there's a whole bunch of hogs, and you're like, gah, 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 gah. yeah. You're going to tell me that you're going to be able to fucking pick off these fucking hogs and maybe not even hit your kid. You could hit a kid, but that's that's the, you know, that's the risk he's willing to take. You know? What is this? I don't know. I, like I, that's, what the, that's the gun he wants. Yeah. Nobody needs a gun that sounds like this. <laughs> what happened to pew, pew? This isn't Star Wars. You can't just shoot lasers at. All people. right. So, what does a, a safer gun sound like? <laughs> that had a silencer. That had a silencer. Yeah, oh. <laughs> it sounded like someone coughed and sneezed. <laughs> they shot me. No, but uh, yeah, that was that's ridiculous. Which is so it's so it's just funny, funny. Like uh, in the wake of like horrible things, like that's your actual well, legit, it, I th- legit question. I I honestly don't know how I feel about the gun thing because I don't really know too much about yeah. this and that. But I it's hard for me to think of a reason why someone needs like an AK forty seven and and uh, it, in their crib. But it's it's. I think the main concern is that if we have no weapons, then we're very susceptible to be controlled and we can't come together to overtake a government. I don't think we could do that anyway, though. <laughs> like, I don't think if we had all the guns. I don't know. You think we could fuck up an army? I think if all people banded together, we could figure it out. Yeah, but we won't. No, of course not. Bro, if everyone was like, yo, we're going to go after the government, I'd be like, let me know how it goes. Cause I'm yeah. not. It's like also when they have like government shutdowns, like what happens? Like nothing changes. I wouldn't even know. There's like less cooks at the White House, I think. Yeah. And that's deplorable. It's 
deplorable. It's deplorable. No, but I, I think I think that's that's. Oh, thing. oh, did you see the thing that happened in Times Square too? No. Yo, so like last night in Times Square, there were motorcycle mo- motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, guys, they, they got, got motorcycles. motorcycles. So the uh, motorcycles were backfiring, like pop, pop, popping. And people thought it was mass shooters, and people just started storm like running everywhere in Times Square. There's video of it. Damn, that's terrifying. Yo, it's terrifying. That's the thing that's scary, though. Like those guys the must have felt like dicks. I know, but it probably wasn't their fault. But I think you you do that. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Motorcyclists. Motorcyclists would know. They would know that. Do you think you would ever get a motorcycle? Fuck that. <laughs> I know four people who have died on motorcycles. Young. Four. Four. Young. Under the age of 22. Gee, man. I would never. I wouldn't even get on one. I, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't get on one if I was in like a fucking armored suit. If you could learn to drive any ulterior vehicle than a car. Alternative vehicle. Okay. Uh, ulterior. I think that makes sense. Do that. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what would you learn to... to if you could just... Immediately know it. You yeah. didn't have to like go through training, but you knew how to f- fly it or drive it. What would you do? I don't really know if what other stuff is there. Uh, like airplanes, oh, helicopters, yeah, submarines. No, no. Come on, dude. Use your fucking imagination. Okay, all of those things. Fuck all of them. You wouldn't want to know how to fly a plane? Are you fucking crazy? What if you're on a plane? You're like, oh my god, Captain Jones is dead now. You got a backup pilot. Yeah, but then he's sick too, and then he falls down. And, there, and then they're like, boom, oh my God, we need someone that can fly this plane. And you're just like, I fucking know what to do I'm it. pretty sure they have like a trainee too who would have a better idea of whatever. And I'm also not pr- like going to fly planes in the event that I got to land a 757 into Newark Airport. The fuck? If fuck you knew plane. how to do it, you would do it. I would do it, Let yeah. Me ask you, if you were a doctor on a plane and they were like, oh my God, we need a doctor, would you stay quiet or would you do it? Obviously, you got to do it. It's why you, it's, you have to take an oath when you take that job. <laughs> I will save lives. Do you have to take an oath? I'm pretty sure. No way. I'm pretty sure. My nose is Yo, you would get in tr- I feel like you would get in a lot of trouble if, that, if you were a doctor and someone was in need and you just pretended you weren't. I think you would get in trouble for that. That sounds right. I th- I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty that sure you sounds, have to take like an oath. That sounds fucking right. Well, it should be right if it's wrong. I, it think, sh- I think, what? I said it should be right if it's wrong. But you don't know what you got till it's gone. Oh, but don't be shaming now. And no, don't know what you got till it's gone. As if I die, put up a fucking lie. <laughs> Is that crowning codes? Counting, counting codes. Counting codes. I want to go see the counting codes. I want to go see the cannon because um, I wouldn't oh, fly planes. Fuck that shit. All right. So I think, you know what I would do? Be able to drive like yachts. Those would be fresh. It'd be a yacht master. Oh, yeah. maybe A boat. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Because I would love a boat. Yeah. I think that my life. And you're like sick at it too. Like you're amazing. I like, can whip that bitch. Yeah. You know in the Matrix how you can just like download like skills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it would be like. Yeah, I would drive a boat then. Hell yeah. Boats would be sick. Yeah. But boats not are like amazing. A, not like a speedboat, though. Those are scary, dude. I'm not doing When I was in Sweden, Mika's boat. Was fast? It wasn't like super fast, but it would hit bumps. And you'd be like. Whoosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, nah. Yeah, I'm good on all that. No. I just want to be able to do this and yeah. jump off of my shit. Yeah. That's my dream, honestly, is to have a boat. Would you ever go on a cruise? Fucking no. Why not? Because. Let's go on a cruise. I'm not going on a cruise like I'm fucking 60. Come on, let's go to a cruise around Greece. Go to Mykonos. Yeah, but there's ways to do that that isn't a gr- isn't a, a cruise. Yeah, like a plane? No, I mean like, yeah, like I would rather just go to Mykonos. Yeah. Than like get on a cruise. <laughs> there's other ways to get to Mykonos. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. No, but I think that uh, a cruise... There's like a thousand kids run, running around, which on vacation, I don't do well around children. I feel like you don't do well around children at all. If I'm trying to have fun as an adult, That's what I'm I don't want there to be fucking, you know, 13 year olds squirting each other with fucking whatever playing soccer. Like you wouldn't say anything out loud, but it, like say we went to the Hamptons, right? Yeah. And there was like a pool and it was me, you, Julian. And like Julian, for some reason, brought like 
his three nephews who are really young. You'd be like, why are these kids fucking here? I would lose my mind. Yeah. <laughs> it would ruin my weekend. I swear to God, I would. I'd be like, now we gotta, now we gotta do this. Yeah, I feel the same way. Nah, it's like, fuck kids. I want to be a piece of shit and like curse yeah. and smoke cigars and like not worry if like this could drown it or not. Yeah. I don't want to have to wipe who's who didn't wipe. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to say it on here. Don't say it. I know what you're going to say. You're not going to say it. It's going to be easy to figure out this again, this shit again. Fine. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Caught it this time. Yeah. 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 No, it's not that. I don't. That like... was hilarious though. It was, it was a conversation, <laughs> but, uh, Wait, are we talking about the same thing? Yes, we are. When we went out to eat? Wait, you're not talking about in the Hamptons. No, no, no. Oh, there was, there was a question we asked somebody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, good. Um, we can't talk about that. Either. Absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's not that I hate kids. It's just that when I'm in party mode or vacation mode or I'm trying to have a good time, I can't have a good time with a fucking nine-year-old there. No. No, you know? and then they ask you questions about oh, like what you do. I'm like, I, shut up! I hate when kids ask me shit. Yeah, it's yeah. Just like why does this? I'm like, dude, figure it out. How do you know my uncle Joe in? I'm yeah. like, shut up! It's like I don't fucking know him. How's that? I know. Him. Yeah. But to have to explain things to kids, it's just I don't like then, it. Then like the days built around them. Oh, we can't. Oh, uh, he actually doesn't like tomato sauce. That's great. He could starve them. Yeah. I'm not into that. I'm not. I'm not there. Yeah. When I become a dad, fine. My life is about my children. Yeah. And I'll play this fucking game. But now, I'm not doing that. No. Like, that's why I don't want to go on a cruise. Because, like, you think about going to a cruise, right? Okay. Maybe. I'm thinking about it right now. It sounds really nice. Okay. Imagine me and you go to a cruise together. We're in, like, a pod. Oh, I wish. But we get, like, a dope pod. And it has, like, an upstairs and maybe, like, a little kitschy. And maybe, like, a glass window where we could see, like... See the ocean. Yeah, underwater. And we see dolphins every so often. Yeah. And dolphins are coming out of the water, right? Yes, Now, yes. imagine that. Do we have Wi-Fi? We have tons of Wi-Fi. All right, okay. So it we sounds go, amazing. Tons of bandwidth. So we go downstairs, though. We're like, yo, let's go to the pool, catch some rays, put some tan on these bodies. Yeah. We get down to the pool. Yeah. Next to us is Old Man River. Mm. He's got a newspaper out. His wife's next to him. She's dead. And then there's a two, two, two parents next to us, and then four hundred kids in the pool, filling it with piss. Yeah, that's why I hate cruises. And they got those stupid shoes on. Don't put shoes on your children in water unless you're walking in a river. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, in a regular pool, get the shoes off. It's disgusting. You no, know it's weird about a about a cruise. They have a jail in it. That's fire. Yeah. So, like, if you fucking act up on that cruise... You go to cruise jail. Yeah, you go to the, the, the brig, or whatever it's called. <laughs> the brig. That's what it's called, right? It would be dope if it looked like a pirate ship, like, fucking... Arr. Imagine it made you walk the plank. be kind of dope. How high are the cruises? Mad high. high. Like, 40 feet. If you fall off of that, you're dead? No. 40 feet, you're good. So, you could jump off a cruise ship. Yeah, you just gotta pencil it. Yeah. If you fucking belly flop that shit, you're gonna fu- you're gonna move some shit around. Yeah, you? this is yeah. this is a wrap for your body. You can pencil a really high amount, like a re- like a really high amount. You, it really just depends on how you hit the water. Like even people that like they jump like this and put their arms out, you could break your arms like that. You have to. Keep oh my up. god, my shoulders would just come out. Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck that. Yeah. I don't like jumping into water from crazy heights. No. Because I don't trust myself in the air. Yeah, but would like you I feel rather... like I'd go to pencil and then I would just be leaning forward. Let me ask you this: Would you rather jump sixty feet into water or ten feet out a window? How high is ten feet? A basketball hoop. Oh, I could do that. All right, twenty feet. Twenty feet out of a window on the onto grass. Yeah. Or sixty feet into water. Sixty feet into water. How high is sixty feet? Damn, that's high. Yeah, it's really high, dude. How high is this building? Probably around 60 feet. No, what? Is it? Yeah. Okay, no, that's a, not a little, that bad. A little less, actually. Less. I could yeah, jump off this it's building. It's six into water. basketball hoops on top of each other. That's fucking high. That's high. So you jump off of that into water. But that's 20, like a legitimate Greek cliff. Yeah. 20 feet onto grass. I'm taking the water. I'm taking time. the water because 20 feet onto grass sounds like a knee thing. 
Yeah, like that's one where you have to jump and know how to roll. Yeah, I need to parkour this. With yeah, my fucking. Yeah. And we're like baggy pants and have a GoPro on. A white ninja. The yeah. fuck? Yeah. Can't do that. Hey, white people, stop doing that too. By the way, stop, stop jumping. Parkouring. Stop. Don't, yeah. Don't parkour. I don't. I feel like it's very dangerous. People are like hurting their knees. There's no money in it. There's nothing in it. Yeah. You know, There's or no, maybe you could be a stunt man. Have you seen those professional tag games? Yes. That shit is crazy. That's the ultimate. That's the parkour like professional league. That's what it is. Yeah, which I would suck ass. I'm not good at tag. I was good when I was younger because I was just faster than everyone. But now I can't get away from it. What were your tag rules? Tag backs or no tag backs? Oh, you can't tag me back. But you have to give me some time. You can't just like. You can't just do that. We used to play like quick tag. You can't tag and then tag back. You know what sucked? Freeze tag. I liked freeze tag. I didn't like it. Why not? Because if you got stuck somewhere far, there was no way you were getting unfrozen. Nah, someone would come after you. Ow. See, I like to be a hero in freeze tag. Because, again, I was fast. So right. I wasn't really worried about getting tagged up. Yeah. Unless I was, you know, you'd catch me slipping. I was, you know, doing something else. What would, what would you say were the top three gym games of all time? <laughs> Kickball's one, right? <laughs> Fuck easy, yeah. easy number one. Kip basketball too. Basketball, but like, Still, but like girls like didn't like it. I feel like give a fuck. I would send their shit off the backboard. <laughs> like fifth grade, I was blocking bitches, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, let me just try to pa <laughs> that shit out. Uh, get that out of here, Presley. <laughs> Yo, did I tell there's you? There's always a Presley. Did I ever tell you this? Yeah, yeah. her birthday was on 9-11, which was weird. It was sad. Oh, but it was the oh, only funny part. You told me because you were like, she was crying. She was like, my birthday's ruined. Yeah, 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 yeah she yeah. was crying. So it was the only funny part of 9 11, but it, it was. Robin funny. Williams on 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about how funny of a scene that is? Yeah, it's genius. Like, you just started watching Family Guy, like, now ish. Like, no, I mean, I've seen episodes. I'm watching it, like, in right. order. Right. So, like, I've watched every episode of South Park and every episode of Family Guy. Yeah. Um, Seth MacFarlane for him to like. Do you think that he goes too far with shit? No, I don't but, think you can go too you, far. I think if you set a precedent, you you can't go too far. I don't think you can go too far as far as comedy goes. I think stuff is just funny, man. Like I I get like I'm on the fence about like the whole PC thing when it comes to comedy because oh I'm totally against it. For me, see what against the PC stuff? Yeah, but the, here I, th- I think you're crippling people's creativity when you do that. Yeah, of course. Because anything's funny. Yeah. I, I would never be offended at someone making a joke about something that happened to me if it was funny. Right. If it was just, like, not well thought out and just, like, mean, that's yeah. one thing. There's, it's shock, like, there's, like, shock value comedy that I don't like. I hate that. And then there's, like, so there's funny ways to put shit together. To give you an, an example, I think if it makes me laugh, I'm cool with it. Yeah. If it doesn't make me laugh and it just comes off like you just wanted to put this in there because you wanted to seem edgy to seem like a brave comedian. Yeah. If that's the if that's the case, then I'm like, well, fuck this guy. Like, he's a loser, you know, or whatever. I, I also wouldn't mind, though, like if it was after a show and someone that was offended came up to me and, and told me. And they were like, I don't really fuck with that. Yeah, I would try to have a dialogue with them, to be honest. I'd be like, all right, so what bothered you about it? See, I like like I. It, it's different if in the middle of your act, like that's not funny. Now I'm gonna like eviscerate you, eviscerate you know. But like if you came up to me after show and you were like, "Hey, listen, like I didn't like the gay material that you did," you know, or I didn't like. I thought it was. <laughs> I didn't like. Uh, you know, I thought you were a little too like loose with like the language that you used. I would have a conversation with them. Oh, Jesus, Mother Teresa. See, no. I, I probably wouldn't. I'd be negative about it. Would you You'd be like, get the fuck out of my face? I wouldn't say get the fuck out of my face. I would just be like, listen, they're, they're jokes. I'm not hurting no one's feelings, and I, I'm not going to apologize. Right. I would never. No, I wouldn't apologize, but I but I would I would ask them what offended them. I, I would want to know. I would only ask to be polite, but I wouldn't care. Right. Yeah. I'm and not saying it would because I, I'm I, I don't I'm not supposed to care when I'm making a joke, you know. Like I'm yeah. I'm not offending you, and it's and it sucks because if you go to a comedy show, then clearly you're a fan a fan of comedy. Someone has made you laugh. You like laughing. You like jokes. Yeah. And comedians get up there all the time. They make fun of like numerous different types of people, and then the the one time they say something that resonates with you, when they've been saying things that resonate with tons of people, yeah. now it resonates with you. Now you have a problem with it. Like you, it's not fair. Yeah, you can't you pick and choose. Exactly, yeah. and that's why. But like I said, if if it makes me laugh, then I think it's funny. Like I just yeah. can't help it. I yeah. just you know, like even if it's 
just whatever. I don't know. Robin but, Williams. But for instance, I, I saw I, I went to a show where it was like a charity show or whatever, and there was there was a ton of comedians there, and one of them was Bob Saget. And, oh, he's ruthless. And Bob Saget, I didn't like at all because I felt like he was purposely trying to be grotesque. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, this is doesn't really even make sense as a joke. And right. it doesn't really like it, it just feels not well thought out. So it doesn't feel like a joke to me. It just feels like I just wanted to say this because I want to be a brave guy, right? Or like a guy who doesn't give a fuck up here. Yeah, you could you could structure it, but a you can better. do that in a form of a joke and it be funny. Yeah, for sure. You know, absolutely. And I I honestly like that more than regular comedy. Like when someone's able to take something that's so like touchy, but make a a really good joke about it that yeah. makes me laugh. Yeah, I'm like, damn, dude, like that guy's good. Like that's how I I, I like kind of gauge though, how good people but are. But even like you, like we were talking about the Monica Lewinsky thing. Before we got in here Yeah Like that's funny Like if you don't find that funny Wait what are you referring her to? Her tweet Oh oh yeah When uh Yeah but it was her saying it Like if it was someone that, else Right it wouldn't be funny But that's funny Yeah I also think it would be funny If if anyone else said it yeah. But it's good that she has Like a sense of humor about it Like right. for anyone who doesn't know What we're talking about Like someone had tweeted something like What's the worst uh, advice You've ever been given on your career And Monica Lewinsky Who famously sucked the dick of a man uh, who ran the fucking country. She tweeted... And took a cigar up her snooter. Oh, yeah, that's right. He put a cigar in there. Yeah. Let that thing puff it. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> Damn right I did. I did not put a cigarette out. I put a cigar up her snooter. Uh, yeah, but she tweeted... Working in the White House would be great on your resume or something like that. And right. it was like really funny because she's poking fun at herself or whatever. And then uh, the I think it was like the Washington Times recently tweeted something like Mike Pence. Mike Pence said people need to get on their knees more and, and get off the Internet. And he I'm assuming meant like praying or whatever. But taken out of context, we're talking about sucking the dick of a man. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> damn right we are. And someone tweeted like, OK, who's going to tell him? And then Monica Lewinsky replied to that, and she's like, definitely not me. <laughs> Suck the dick of a man. I'll tell you what, though. She was the most famous cocksucker in the world at one point. Well, yeah. <laughs> Just fire. Yeah, dude. It's kind of funny, too. I would love to meet her, because it seems like too. she has a good attitude yeah, about it. Yeah, I would it. love to talk to her. I would love to be like... Monica, come on the show. But here's the thing, right? So Monica Lewinsky... And she had a jizz stained dress too. Well, yeah, jizz jizz flies. Popped on her. Yeah, he's got a he's got some miles per hour in <laughs> yeah, that penis. Dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he does. He's not a dribbler. He does. The guy is shooting ropes. Oh yeah. Uh, but imagine, you're how old was she back then? Probably nineteen, twenty. Yeah, like nineteen years old, dude. And you suck the president. I know. You suck the president on an internship. I know. The most powerful man in the world Dude, lets you suck his penis. That's insane. That's crazy to think about. That's so crazy. Think about the pressure you're under. Dude, too. a lot of 19 year olds are hoping just to get paid from their internship. Yeah. Just suck the president's penis. And he came on you. I mean, he's a weird guy. I don't I mean, don't you know? I'm just there, saying I, it's crazy. I don't want to get murdered, but I, I think there's a lot of weird Clinton shit that we don't know about. Oh yeah, that guy's fucked weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah, go get me monkeys. <laughs> I want to fuck a monkey. I want to throw a pencil at it while it jacks me out. <laughs> Just go get two gorillas. I want to watch them. Throw a pencil at them like David Letterman. I'm starting to sound like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> no, but they... uh that's just crazy to think about. Like yeah. Monica Lewinsky. And I can't even... like At 19, how do, how do you... And that's why it's bad. It's clearly like a... You took advantage of your position, and like it's it's not great. If for it him. wasn't for Monica Lewinsky, I wouldn't have found out what a blowjob was. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know about Monica Lewinsky until I was like older, and people were still making jokes and shit. Why would that happen? In the, I remember watching him say that, and then I remember watching him leave office. When did say, Monica Lewinsky suck that dick of a man? I would say it was like ninety-seven, ninety-eight. Damn. I typed it to Google. Was it like a like a makeup porn? Like no, I said porn? when did Monica Lewinsky? And then one of the things is, when did Monica Lewinsky's parents divorce? Uh -huh. <laughs> God damn! 
<laughs> oh that's man, that's funny go. though. Uh, yeah, when did this happen? When did they have an affair? Ninety eight. So yeah. yeah, I was like, damn, I hit it on six. the head. Yeah, I was six I, years old. Because I remember, like, I remember everything because of sports. Because the Yankees won in ninety six. Oh, and, it broke in ninety eight. Yeah, yeah. On Janu in January. Yeah. So the Yankees won in ninety six, ninety seven. They didn't win it. The Marlins won, and then they went on that that three peat. 98, 99, 2000. So it was, I was watching, I burped. Uh, my stomach's not feeling good. Yeah. Uh, but I watched the Yankees and Bill Clinton stuff. Nice. So that's, I learned about what a blowjob was when I was nine. Who explained it? My dad and my mom. As a teen? Well, because, yeah, because I was going to school and like coming back and being like the older kids in school. Are talking about someone getting their... A blowjob. A blowjob. Were was they like, saying blowjob on TV or they were saying oral sex? Oral sex. Or were they saying fellatio? No, they were saying did the uh, he, uh, the president received oral, oral sex right. in the Oval Office. When do you when are you supposed to say fellatio? Like at the doctor? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Or because like there's when, so many different. Yeah. You say like blowjob with your friends. Or like a lawyer statement maybe. Fellatio? Yeah. Fellatio is a legal term. That is when he made... He fel- exhibit B fellaced. perform fellatio yeah. upon him. I was like fellatio. I was fellatio me. Right. But, uh, and then oral sex is like for yeah. politicians. Yeah. And then I remember my mom took kind of the reins and like t- told me what it was. She's like, here's what happened. Right. Do you remember what she said? Yeah. She said like kiss, kissed his pee pee. Something along those lines. How old were you? Dude, at least nine. Oh, I was going to say, she's dropping pee-pee on you. You must have been, like, small. No, I don't know. But, dude, nine? Explain it to your nine-year-old? Dude, this is what we had to watch on TV. The fucking pl- president's getting fucking blowjobs. I mean, the president's getting blowjobs. Yeah, but not. It, uh, it's not a big thing. Now you're going to get impeached for it. It's crazy. How did the word get out? Did she eventually was like, I can't handle I this. I think it was, uh, what was that big, big lady? Big lady? Yeah. Ursula? When, no, 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 no. Janine, not Janine Pirro, but uh, who? How did she find out? She recorded phone calls with Monica Lewinsky. Wait, what? Uh oh, and and, she, and Monica confided in her. Right. She was like, "Yeah, I've been sucking yeah. the prez." Because there was another girl. Um, that Linda Tripp was her name. Because I remember John Goodman used to play her on fucking SNL, and it was oh my hysterical. God. Yeah, Linda Tripp. Um, Linda Tripp would fucking record, record the conversations. Um, so Monica would, so she would, but how did she, how did this even start? I mean, I don't know why I'm asking you. Like you got all the answers. Well, we're going to find out because they're making, remember how they did the OJ show? Yeah. Uh, American crime story, the OJ Simpson trial. They're yeah. doing it for Monica Lewinsky, which is going to be tight. It's going to be some blowjobs yeah, on there. Bill's going to be pissed. Yeah. Janine Pirro is like a, New York senator now, I think, or something. That's I don't know why I said that. Janine Pirro hasn't sucked any cock that I know of. Damn, that's weird. Yeah, but Linda Tripp... You can listen to the tapes. It's the Linda Tripp-Monica Lewinsky tapes. And was Linda Tripp... But how did she have an inkling? Because she confided in her. Oh, she just told her one day. Yeah. And then Linda was calling her on the phone like, hey, tell me about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, what did he make you do? And like shit like that. You gotta listen to them. They're pretty. They're not like graphic, but they're very informative. Do you uh? Do you remember anything from them? Um, I remember that she confesses to like where they were with the president and like what she did and like you know if she should go like public and stuff like that. Because you gotta remember, Monica Lewinsky wrote a book too, and everyone like shit on her. You're like, how could you write a book about this? But it's like, bitch, like this is what happened. You know? Yeah, yeah. Now we're making shows about it, hiring actors. It's just, it's just crazy. Like she was like, oh, like you're a home wrecker. You know how could you do that? You know, like she, she caught a lot of shit for sucking that dick. It sucks. You know, like the president probably should. I mean, he got impeached, but like you know, he was able to go his merry way. Yeah. And like people love Bill Clinton now. Dude, I can't believe you got sucked in the Oval Office. How was no one knowing this? They were, though. They were like, they let, knew. Let the president get his stuff. Dude, 
you're getting sucked in the Oval Office. You don't think Hillary knew he was getting sucked? Hillary and Bill have not been together for probably... That's what I'm saying. I don't think that they, like... Talk. <laughs> I don't, it's for I, I show. Think they, I think they talk. I think it's for show. But I... <sighs> like, I feel like they're, like, they're doing the rich white parent thing where they're like, we're stay together for the kids, but it's really for, like, their image. Yeah. I haven't even seen Bill in so long. He's, like, super thin now. He's, like, a vegan, I think. Idiot. Yeah, well, <laughs> gave up the pussy. Picked up a salad. Picked up a salad. Picked up the kale. Put yeah. down the 19-year-olds. But uh, that was, yeah, yeah, I remember. Because I remember Eminem rapping about it, too. That's crazy. Presidents love head. What? JFK. JFK, blown away. One more <laughs> JFK fucking getting blown by Marilyn Monroe. And she's saying happy birthday to him all drunk and shit. Wait, what? JFK got blown by Marilyn Monroe? Dude, he was with her. Yeah, I don't know. And she's saying fucking happy birthday, Mr. President, to him. Like a fucking drunk creep. It's fire. Yeah. He's well, a hot guy. He was sitting with his wife. He was a hot man. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, she fucked Joe DiMaggio and him. Same time, I think. Same time? Not like the Eiffel Tower, but like she was fucking them. Oh, I thought yeah. that Marilyn Monroe was really getting after yeah, No, JFK fucked mad bitches. Yeah, he would have. I would have gave it up to him if I was interning in that office. Yeah. Then he got shot in the Suck my head. dick. Suck <laughs> <laughs> Come in here and suck my penis. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we can wrap this up. Okay. We went over all the presidential sucking. Yeah. So I think that's uh Do you think there'll ever be a single president? That's a good question. Or do you think they look at them to be like, oh, I want to see like if a president has like, you know, good family values. Like why if a guy's like really qualified or a woman's really qualified, but they don't have a partner, they can't be president. Dude, this is amazing. And you know what? It'll happen after we get, like, uh, a president of every ethnicity. Yeah. And then, like, a gay president. Yeah. And then a trans president. Yeah. And then it'll trickle down to, like, well, why do I got to have a wife? Yeah. And then... And then... But it's like, who, like what, maybe somebody's a really great single mom or a single dad. And they're very, very qualified. So I'm saying. Who's, who is the lady? That's what I'm saying. And it's like you really can't run for president, kind of, because you don't have like a first lady or a first man. It's I kinda also, fu- it's kind of fucked up to think about. I also want it to be so that when a woman becomes president, the husband is the first lady, and I don't think we should change that. Time. No, he should be called the lady for sure. He is the lady. Yeah. Dude looks like a lady. Dude is a lady. Ha! Ha! <laughs> but I think that's that's always something that. Was on my mind. My stomach really hurts. Let's yeah, go. Let's, let's get, get the out fuck here. out of here before uh, Danny explodes. Yeah, at Danny Lopriori on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, you guys can, <laughs> you guys can uh, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at Joe Santagato and go follow the show at the Basement Yard. Everyone, go check out the merch. Also, the Santagato store, and also at Santagato Studios, we have a nice network of shows that you guys can go check out. Go check out the Stank with Dan and Frank. With Dan and Frank, Danny's on that show with Frank. Uh, they do like movie reviews and shit like that. It's a great show. Oh, yeah. Love the show. Thank you. Uh, it's doing very well off the bat. So we appreciate everyone who's going over there and watching. Yes, we do. Um, you can check that out. YouTube.com slash the stank podcast and the Patreon patreon.com slash the basement yard. For those of you who would like to get an extra episode and every episode in advance, that's where you go for that. And that is all. See you guys next time. Peace.